We're going corn planting. This morning the plan is we're going to head over to the storage sheds. We're going to drag the the wheat drill out. We've got a little bit of work we got to do to it. Now I know we haven't harvested yet, but we usually start planting our wheat right around the 1st of October. Today is uh, September the 18th, so we need to get that thing addressed before we get busy with harvest. Here you can really see the effects of fungicide. Dad made one swath around this field and in the middle, there is no fungicide. Oh boy, we're, we're playing our favorite game. Take pictures and try to figure out how to hook it up next year. Never works. We're gonna tape them together. So to mark these, we're just taping the hoses that go together, together. Got it. Okay. All right, we have to unhook this tractor. Well, for one, we're done with that planter. But two, we also need this tractor to help play the game of musical implements that's about to be played. So we've got to pull dad's planter out, um, hook this one up to the wheat drill, move dad's planter where it's going to rest for hibernation, and then I think dad's tractor is actually going back on the wheat drill. So Dad's planter is going to hibernate over there. Like I said, his tractor is also what's going to pull the wheat drill. Just seen a mouse run out of Dad's tractor, and one run out of the planter. That's what you want. Yep. Let's go plant some corn. So we gotta get this old seat tender out of the way before we can get the drill out of here. We're gonna put the rock sword to the test. We gotta hitch on it. It might be perfect for this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's squatting her down. Yeah, I mean, it might, we made it. BJ's going to wash the tongue off of that drill real fast and then I don't know what he's going to do after that. He doesn't either though so it's okay. Now if you're new to the channel or just found us, my brother has only been farming for right at not quite a year. So if you hear me like trying to explain how to do stuff, I'm not trying to be a condescending butthead. He really just doesn't know. Yep, corn planting's all done now. It's official. Corn planting's officially over. We're unhooking. There's where he had it last time. Looks like he's going to miss it by a foot. Good enough. If you've never been around a John Deere planter, they unhook with a two-point hitch, so it's a little bit different. There you go. Now we need that back there. This thing is going back in the building for now. We might even have to use this thing this year, so 
What does that mean? Yeah, you'll see in a little bit. Any bets on if he needs to pull up again? Oh, I think he got it. If you didn't catch that, Dad said, one back. If you haven't heard, apparently, if you turn on the subtitles or the closed caption or whatever it's called on YouTube, I believe it's in the top right corner, and read the translations from Google, especially with Dad, they're hilarious. Now, like I said, we might not need this, but if we do, it is easily accessible now. Had to use the backhoe for a minute. We had to take the quick hitch off of this 1038. This is 1038 number one, the first one we got. And we had the 1240 case planter that we don't have anymore. This quick hitch would get into it. New one, not a problem. So now we can pull a ripper or strip till bar, all sorts of good stuff with this tractor. First utility. All right, lunch time. That'll work. Look at big mama going to work. Making dinner in an office. Well, this is lunch. Lunch? I don't know what your dad calls it dinner. He also says supper. supper. All right, lunch is over. I head over to the grain bins. We have maybe three loads of corn left in the bins. We're going to use one of those loads of corn to calibrate the scales on that new grain cart. So we're going to head over to do that now. That's squishy. So I'll get this cart hooked up, and like I said, we're probably just going to pull it in the load out, fill it up. That way we can kind of calibrate these scales. And we're gonna need that. Yep. Oh, here comes the boss. Sound like you're working. Looks like dad's fixing to harvest some corn. That's all I can. Rushing it out. Ain't very good. Doesn't look like it's very big kernels. Look at the ears. Good. Yeah, it's not not ideal. Uh, I don't think our mini gack likes that. 28 and a half. So that's way wetter than I thought it would be. I thought this corn was going to be 20%. The field that we got these ears out of, it looks fairly burnt up. But this is an 111 day corn or 112. BJ's in this field right here getting some ears. This is 108 days, so maybe it'll be a little bit closer to being ready. What do you think? Body guard. Shut the door. Give him a minute and he'll be on your shoulder. Come here, Shut the door. You want to go home with me? I went last long over there. BJ just got back with this. Harvest. Harvest, or, yeah, with this sacrifice. These, are, these ears look a lot better. Yeah. A lot bigger. This is Seek Consultants 1087, which that has been one of our best varieties the last few years. That other one was Sea Consultants 1105, which, eh, this is on better ground too. So. But that strip tail, this is 100% no tail. Survey says 30%. <laughs> oh crap, that ain't 30%. <clears throat> I do not believe that. It does not feel 30%. It's all black layered. No, feel it's all black layered though. That wasn't even black layered, some of it. I'm going to unhook the red truck from the black trailer and switch it to that white trailer. And then that's what we're gonna to take to town. So I gotta to take the maiden voyage of grain to town. Larry may have got to drive it 100 miles yesterday, but I'm taking some corn to town with her. BJ, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Ah! Hooked the grain cart up, found a couple uh, hydraulic hoses that were a little loose. So BJ's tightening those up. Let me see if I can't get that truck hooked up. And we might get a load in here today. Fifth wheel will come unlatched. That fifth wheel is, it's a little hateful. We got power to the tarp, looks like. But part of the reasons we wanted to take these loads with this truck and trailer is this is how this truck's going to be configured pulling this trailer. We wanted to make sure we had all of our electrical wired up right to run the doors and hopper. And we don't. So that's a massive fail. Still no juice. Nope. Tax. 
Hey, what you got that broom out for? Cleaning? No. Oh. Okay. Kayla, why do you have an axe? Save Dax from himself. BJ, what are you doing over there? Checking your tire pressure? Yeah. See? 12.6. Yeah, we have a problem here. We were th thought maybe we weren't getting enough juice, but we appear to be getting enough juice. Okay, so my only question now is, do I have them in there backwards? Oh, you might have your hot and ground backwards. I don't think it really... See that negative sign? We have figured it out. That's actually a huge relief because we thought we had bad plugs, yeah. thought we had oh, bad connectors. Yeah, both of them are backwards. Okay. That makes sense. All right, change of plans. If you're new, get used to it. Instead of calibrating that today, uh, by the time we got the grain cart all set up, we had to set up the monitor and stuff, uh, it was almost 3 o'clock. We have to do three loads to get it really calibrated and dialed in well. And then we had some issues with that truck. So we're going to do that Monday. It is Friday and they close at four o'clock in town so we wouldn't have time to get all three loads but like i said in the previous video dad did end up selling that truck the guy's coming to get it today so i gotta go unhook it from the water tanker take our radios out of it and stuff like that and bj he's flipping the electric on the on the automatic tarp and all that stuff on that truck so we'll get that done stay squishy stay squishy stay don't live up to your name all right get this old truck unhooked like I said, I really wish we wouldn't have sold this one. It's one of the newer trucks. Runs pretty good, but it's gone. I'll take the catwalk off this and put it on the Kenworth. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you need any Brown Farms merch, check the link in the description. Guess what? Only two more videos and we're into harvest footage.